All right, so this problem says, what is the average power output of a hard defibrillator that dissipates 400 joules of energy in 10 milliseconds? So uh, the hard defibrillator is uh, those EMT guys have them. They jumpstart a heart. And what you'll, you'll study in the next chapter, what you're doing is you're storing energy in a capacitor, and the capacitor is being discharged through your heart. Okay, and that's to jumpstart your heart. Okay. So you're dissipating 400 joules of energy in 10 milliseconds. Uh, do you guys have any idea of what 400 joules of energy is? Okay, so uh, here's uh, what you want to think of. You guys know energy is mgh, right? And uh, your mass is about 70 kgs, 70 times 10 is 700 um, uh, newtons, g is uh, 10 roughly, times 1 meter would be 700 joules. So this is roughly the same energy as if you jump from here from a roughly a height of 1 meter to the ground. So what this problem is saying is, you're jumping from a height of one meter onto somebody's chest and starting their heart, roughly. Except that you're delivering that energy in 10 milliseconds. Okay. All right, so let's do the numbers. So what is the average power? Okay, power is uh, energy delivered in this time, so 400 joules and 10 milliseconds okay. and joules per second is a watt okay so this is a uh, that's 40,000 okay so 40,000 watts okay. Yeah, well, we'll just leave it like that. All right, 40,000 watts. 40,000 watts. You, you need 1,000 uh, watts to run a home in the U.S. It's uh, close to 1,500 watts, 2,000. So here is the power that can run 40 homes. So the next question is, consider the high power output, why didn't the defibrillator fry the guy? Instead of saving him, you why didn't you kill him, is the question. Yep. Doesn't matter what kind of energy it is. I can fry you with electricity. No, so here's, so let's answer this, okay? So everybody understand the question? Um, all right, so here's what's relevant, okay? What's relevant is not how fast you delivered the energy, how much energy did you deliver is the question, okay? Okay, so let's see, you delivered 400 joules of energy. What can that 400 joules of energy do? Okay. Now, I'll do a quick conversion. I'm going to do a rough uh, back of the envelope calculation. Uh, you guys um, will do it in different units. One calorie is uh, um, 4.186 joules. So 400 joules is roughly 100 calories. Okay, and the specific heat of water, you're mostly, uh, Jonathan anyway is mostly water, salt water. Everybody is salt, mostly salt water. He's a bag of salt water. And there is a specific heat. One calorie per gram per, that's a specific heat, okay? <laughs> so, Q equal to MC delta T. Okay, we're going to zap Jonathan with 100 calories of heat, okay? 
So here is his temperature rise. And, uh, okay, so 100 calories. And the effect, 100 grams is roughly a fistful of your mass. Okay, even less than that. So you del deliver 100 calories to 100 grams, one calorie per gram per degree Celsius. So his, the temperature of 100 grams, this much mass will rise by one, one degree Celsius. So that's why he doesn't burn. Okay. So again, uh, the point is not how fast you're delivering the energy, how much energy are you delivering? You get to fry something, you have to deliver so much energy. And of course, you can deliver a lot of energy if you deliver it real slow. As the object is heating up, if it has time to cool down, then it, it, won't, it won't burn. Okay. So, for instance, um, yeah, all right. Okay, so what I was going to 